Maybe? Stay in a hotel again. I miss everything about it. The thick, soft robes, the plastic shower cap, the way they fold the toilet paper into that neat little triangle. Yeah, you almost hate to use it, but you do. Carl, what is with that jacket? Yo, down jackets are back, man. Where do we get up to Aspen? I walk through the lodge wearing this. I'm the man. Yeah, yeah the Michelin man. Okay, we're all ready. Where's he going? To Aspen. Oh, no, no you, you didn't tell me you was bringing him. Yeah, I know. Whoa, 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 no, this is a work trip, man. You know, we're gonna be working up there, we're gonna be on the air, it's a radio convention. All the top morning show hosts are gonna be there, gotta be sharp, you can't bring them. We haven't left Otis with a babysitter for a night, let alone a weekend. Besides, we'd miss him too much. Okay, now see, that's selfish, right there. Yeah, you, you can't baby him forever. You know, he needs some time away from you. Next thing you know, he's six and still living with you. He's coming with us, Carl. Yeah, that's great, great. Seven hour car ride with a baby. Popping a John Tess CD and I'm in hell. <laughs> Walt Disney Pictures. Carl? Carl, could you please turn down the music? It's hurting Otis's little gangsta ears. You can't listen to music. You can't spark a fatty. These kids ruined road trips. Come on, man, would you stop complaining? I spent two days stuck in a duck blind with your Uncle Rudy on that hunting trip. Hey, Uncle Rudy's not that bad. He's a mouth breather, Carl. <laughs> It's like getting a crank call that lasted the entire weekend. Speaking of crank calls, are you going to be making them to Danny Bonaducci's room? No, he recognizes my voice. You're going to have to do it. <laughs> hey, can you sound like a groupie and ask for David Cassidy? He hates that. When are you guys going to get over this? But, honey, when his show first came to Denver, instead of calling me Jimmy Cox, he called me Jimmy No Cox. <laughs> All right, I've been trying to come up with a nickname for him for years. How about Danny Bon a douchebag? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's okay. Hey, all I know is Dr. Dre better stay out of my way. <gasps> Dr. Dre the rapper? No. The radio host. Yeah, you know, he and Ed Lover do that show out of New York. Yeah, the only reason he's got a career is because he took his name from a music superstar. <laughs> yeah. You know, that would mean so much more if it didn't come from the man who started out as DJ Jazzy Carl. <laughs> Dr. Dre and Carl had a disagreement over a lady a few years back, and it's been bad blood ever since. Wow. Who would have thought a morning DJ convention could be such a zoo? <laughs> man, did you beef? No. <laughs> okay, yeah, but it was like five minutes ago when I put the window down to check the temperature. Yeah, well, it must have had a time release stank. No, it's Otis. He pooped. Can you pull over so I can change him? Can't you change him while I'm driving? Come on, I need to take him out of his car seat. I knew this was going to be a bad idea. Oh, man, give him a break. You're his Uncle Carl, for God's sake. No, I'm not. No one's uncle. Nice, Carl. Hey, it's not personal, Beth. I'm just not his uncle. His dad's partner. To me, kids are like musicals. Oh, yeah? How's that? I don't like them. <laughs> Why didn't you ask a bellman to take the bags? Honey, come on. I told you, bellman's just a waste of money. Oh, oh. Can I get a bellman, please? All right. I still can't find Otis's binky, so I'm going to go to the gift shop and see if they have another. You think they sell those in hotel gift shops? Well, if they don't, I saw a baby asleep in there. Maybe I can snag his. <laughs> it's just perfect. Man, look at you. Pathetic. I'm pathetic? Yeah. You own a blow-up doll. <laughs> hey, I told you, it's not a blow-up doll. It's an action figure. <laughs> so you seen any action lately? <laughs> all I know is you're here in Aspen with a kid and all this luggage. Meanwhile, I'll be snuggling up to some ski bunnies in my hotel room. Mm. Better known as the Ski Buddy 
Love Bunny Room. Yeah, well, having a wife and child is the most satisfying thing a man can do with his life. You know she's not here, right? Yeah, but you never know when they're gonna sneak up behind you. <laughs> oh, wait. Look at the slope on that bunny's moguls. <laughs> well, see if she wanna try my black diamond. <laughs> Jimmy Cox. Ah, uh, Danny Bonaducci. Hey, listen, about last year, I'm sorry. About what? Oh, you mean that thing where you put that little bag of oregano in my carry-on yeah. luggage? Forget about it. You know, I'm still in contact with the guy that gave me the cavity search. Oh. Watch your back. No cocks. Oh, I will. Bonnet duty. Damn, Bess was better. Are you sure we haven't met before? Because you look so familiar. No, I don't think so. Oh, I know where it was in my dream. <laughs> Do you realize exactly how lame that line was? Yeah, I was kind of tired. Mm. And you must be tired, too, because you've been running through my mind all day. <laughs> oh, just when you thought it couldn't get any lamer. Look, honey, I don't want to be played, and you are obviously a player. OK, see ya. Not if I see you first. <laughs> Apparently, I can get lamer. <laughs> hey, Carl, does every girl you meet run away like that? <laughs> no, Dre, your mom's didn't. <laughs> Don't talk about my mama, you abominable fro man. I talk about it if I want to, stay puffed, daddy. Oh, are we gonna go? Well, if it's go time, let's go. Well, fine. Fine. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. I'm ready to do this. Let's go. <laughs> Where my oh, old How hey, you doing, eh? Real good, Jimmy. So what do you say? Should we stop him? Nah, they'll just keep taking clothes off to delay it. Yeah, well, you know what? I'd rather see him fight than see him get naked. Yeah, All right, fellas, okay, fellas, okay, fellas, 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 Super mom. <laughs> I know it's pooped again. All right, well, while you two find a binky and change the stinky, I'm gonna get a drinky. <laughs> That's why they call him DJ Jazzy Carl. Okay, he's down. Time for some quality hotel fun. Uh huh. And by that, I assume you mean quality adult entertainment. <laughs> Dirty movies. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when we get the bill, I'm gonna look appalled and blame them on you. Oh, but of course. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what our choices are. Oh, okay. Finding Nympho? No? No? Okay. Manaconda? Definitely not. Oh, the secret secretary. <gasps> that sounds interesting. Yeah, doesn't it? I'm like going, wow, what kind of secrets does this secretary have and where is she keeping them? <laughs> Oh, look at that, starring Barbara Bush. Mm. Must be a different one. Ms. Wilson, you come in here and take some dictation. Wow, naked people and clever wordplay. It's like the Frasier of porn. Yeah. Uh, is it massage time? Me Peter, first, check it out. Oh, damn you! <laughs> oh. Oh, is this wake? Okay, it's kind of weird. Yeah. We want his first words to be daddy, not who's your daddy. <laughs> I'll turn it off. Okay. Honey, honey, that's the volume. I know, I can't find the power button. Okay, just give it to me. No, I can do give it. Me, I can do it. it. It went behind the bed. Okay, I'll get it. Okay.
Japan. Should have brought my action figure. <laughs> That's right, but we'll be back in Denver next week, so uh, enjoy your weekend and keep it on the call. Yeah. What up, Ed? What's up, Jim? How you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? All right. Uh-oh. Are we going to go? Oh, man. If it's time to go, well, let's go. Let's go. Let's you know? Go. Yeah. All right, so should we stop him this time? Nah, man. It's the only exercise the big fella gets all week. <laughs> all right, take it easy. Oh, I ain't scared. Oh, it's like that. It's like that. Just give me some of that. How about that? Hey, give me. You get your 3 a.m. wake-up call? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I also got the one at 3.15, 3.20, and 3.26. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, Ed. You lucky I got to go. Yeah. You lucky you got to go. Because if it's go time, then you need to go. <laughs> I said I'd love to stay in chat, but I know you got that multicolored school bus to catch, so. <laughs> oh, oh, a partridge family joke. How fresh. <laughs> You know what? I wasn't talking about that fuss. I was talking about the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Jerk. Ooh, you told him. So, what's up? You gonna get even for the phone calls? I already did. How? Oh? Put crazy glue on his headphones. <laughs> oh, hey, baby. How you doing? Hi. Mm. Mm. You excited to go snowboarding? Nope, because I want you to go instead. Oh, but we're only going to be here today, and you love it so much. Well, honey, I know, but you didn't get a chance to go last year because you were pregnant, and I want you to go, and I am going to stay and watch little Odie, Odie, Tody, Bodie. <laughs> well, it's official. You got no nads. Oh, what a cute baby. Oh, thank you. You like him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's my little nephew, Otis. I'm his Uncle Carl. Oh, yeah. Good old Uncle Carl's real baby lover. Yeah. <laughs> Not in a uh, register where you live kind of way. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? I, there's nothing I love more than spending time with my little odie wody toady bodie <laughs> oh, Look at Carl, my little itty-bitty hypocrite. <laughs> I um, didn't take you for a guy that liked kids. Wait, are you kidding me? I just volunteered to watch this little guy while these two go off snowboarding. You did? Yeah. Haven't you left yet? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Carl. But I don't think you're ready to watch Otis by yourself. Uh, we could watch him together. Great idea. I hadn't even thought of it. <laughs> oh, and you don't have to worry because I'm a nurse in a pediatric unit. Oh. Wow. Well, then you two have a lot in common because a lot of women have told Carl he has a pediatric unit. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let me do this for you. Oh, please. You're using him as chick bait. OK, so what? <laughs> Take your cell phone, and I'll call you if there's any problems. OK. Come on, baby. What do you say? Yeah, I don't know. We just met her. Baby, she's a nurse. She's better qualified than we are. <laughs> and plus, she'll be with Carl. Is that supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> Beth. Seriously, trust me, okay? I can handle this. Okay, and I promise you, I'll take great care of this little guy. Uh, I guess it would be nice to spend the day together. <laughs> yes. Don't worry. He's in great hands, okay? Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> can he take a jacuzzi? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Yeah. Hey, you know, Jimmy and Beth wanted to leave him at home, right? But I insisted that they bring him, because I love kids so much. Gosh, I can't wait to make one of my own. Okay, nap time. <laughs> oh, we look, he's crying. Does he have a binky? Uh, no, they said he lost it. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Why don't you hand me that bottle? Oh, okay. I'll grab a tissue here. There you go. You get to screw this off like that, and you push that in there so the baby doesn't suck in air. Right. And there you go. Instant binky. Wow. You know, sometimes all it takes is a nipple in the mouth to make a little guy happy. <laughs> Crazy glue on the headphones? Very funny, Jimmy! All right, well, I'm glad you liked it. What? <laughs> Am I yelling? <laughs> if my voice is all hoarse and raspy on the radio tomorrow, you're dead, pal! <laughs> oh, my perfect day just got more perfect. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I had this much fun boarding. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun, period. Okay, let's finish the cocoa and then take one more run. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, hey, look, here comes Carl with Otis. Oh. Run. And the fact remains that you hit
hid from your own child. Oh, come on. You were right there with me. Because you said run. Oh. Oh, I see. Run! <laughs> yeah, I don't see you running now. Well, I didn't want to sit there and have to tell Carl that you were hiding from your own baby. Oh, come on. That is not what happened. What happened was I was having so much fun with my wife that I didn't want it to stop. So it's your fault for making me have so much fun. <laughs> oh, how dare you accuse me of being fun? You're the fun one. <sighs> I cannot believe we are having this argument on the very day that I peed our names in the snow. Oh, oh yeah? Well, is this the most retarded argument we've ever had? No, that would be the time that we argued about whether or not Batman and Robin were gay. They totally are. You know what? I don't even want to go there again. I can't believe we hid from Otis. Look, honey, we were just making time for ourselves. We need that sometimes. And we didn't hide from him. We ran away. Yeah, it wasn't our proudest moment. But we should make sure that we run away from Otis at least once a year. Yeah. <laughs> we should probably go get him. Yeah. Although, Carl isn't expecting us for another 20 minutes. Oh. Well, I only need seven. <laughs> mm. Make that six. At him. You know, he smiles every time he looks at you. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. I guess he does, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we put him down for a nap, then maybe you and I can snuggle up and take a nap of our own. A nap? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I have to warn you, I sleep in the nude. Yeah. Which is why I try not to nap on the bus. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna go freshen up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you did it, my little wingman. You did it. Mm. I'm in because of you. I won't forget this. I won't forget this. <laughs> Woo! Don't look at me like that, all right? Okay, so what? I played a little bit. <laughs> Don't hate the player, hate the game, baby. <laughs> Besides, you know what I'm talking about when you get a little older. <laughs> Otis, don't tell me how to behave. You still crap your pants. Hey, it's Jimmy. I want my boy back. All right. All right. Uh, it's time for you to go back with your daddy, mm -hmm. where you belong. Yeah, I had fun with you, too. I come. Hey, hey, man, thanks for watching him. We needed it. You got it. All right. You owe me big time. Make it out of here. I got company. You what? You what? So, I see we have the room all to ourselves. Yep. Little Odie is back where he belongs. You know, I was wrong about you. You really are a nice guy. Yeah, well, uh, that's just my way. Hmm. Okay, okay, wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> I can't do this. <laughs> do you need to go take a pill or something? No, trust me, that's not a binky in my pocket. But I do need to tell you something. Um, you were right. I was playing you. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I was never into kids, and, uh, Today was the first time I ever hung out with Otis. Well, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, so uh, if you want to go, I understand. Oh, I want to go. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, if it's go time, then let's go. Then let's go. Let's go. Jimmy, look at this. $1,200 for... can't be right. Come on, we did not watch this much movies. <laughs> hey, see you next year, pervert. <laughs> Bonaduce! <laughs> this is a classic moment. He's going crazy without his binky. Hand me his baby bum. <laughs> Top off. Stuff some tissue inside so air doesn't get in. Give that to him. Oh my 
my God. <laughs> How did you know to do that? Come on, man. I'm his Uncle Carl. <laughs> Does Otis need to be changed? Nope, I beefed. <laughs> Don't miss Will Smith, guest starring on All of Us, Tuesday, November 18th. When you're TV's hottest couple, what's the best way to spice up your sex life? Wow, <laughs> body blog. Yeah. No, taking a stripping class from Brooke Burns. I'm your instructor, Erin, or as I'm known when I'm dancing, white chocolate. Everybody give it up for Crispy Beth. In all new Rock Me Baby, UPN next Tuesday, 9, 8 central.